Hello everyone. Now this video will show you the latest Dolphin all-in-one data recovery adapter. Now this adapter is used to convert the NVMe M2 SATA and U2 SSD and also USB to SATA interface so that we can connect the NVMe SSD and the USB flash drives to the SATA data recovery equipment for quick data recovery or disk image. Now this video will demonstrate how we can connect the USB flash drive to the all-in-one data recovery adapter and then connect this adapter to the DFL SRP data recovery equipment. This equipment is portable. So we connect this equipment to the computer. Next, we can power on this adapter. Okay, we just use the software of the DFL SRP data recovery equipment to power on. Now let's go to the software. So we power on we can see the USB flash drive gets ready. Now let's try to set up one new project for disk image or file extraction. We can try the disk image first and check the imaging speed. We can create one VHD first to use to be used as one target drive so we select this one my computer and we can set up here okay click create now we select this virtual disk this VHD as the target drive and click OK to continue. So this is one HP uh, USB flash drive from this uh, picture. We can learn that this is the USB flash drive. OK, now we go to the setting. We need to untick the green resource mode to increase the disk image speed. Click OK. Now we can click start the disk image. Then we can check the disk imaging speed. Status, it's about 80 megabytes per second. Now we can see the speed is increasing and it's very stable. And sometimes if the target drive and pension drive are in good status and in large capacity and the speed will be much higher over 100 megabytes per second. So this is the disk imaging speed for the current drive, current USB flash drive. The disk image speed is decided by the pension drive, health information, and also the read-write speed of the original drive and its target drive. Okay, this is all-in-one adapter USB 3 version. Now we can click stop and we can switch to the file extraction interface. We can double click so that we can easily find all the documents available within this USB flash drive. So we can easily select the requested documents and right click to recover the selected files. 
So this is the method how we recover the NOS data from the USB flash drive with the DFLSRP SATA ATA data recovery equipment. Even when there are bad sectors within this USB flash drive, we can use this all-in-one adapter together with the DFSRP or other similar ATA data recovery equipment. Thank you for watching the video.